All right, Shalom on my came out there. First and foremost, before I start, I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father, who the world ignorantly calls God. And Yahweh Shai, that's the name of his beloved son, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. Double on to the apostles of great millstone and peace and mercy to elect by Hashem, Havakak, in the name of the Holy Spirit. And check out what you see on the, uh, uh, the picture you see on the, the screen. <laughs> I was checking out when Vocab Malone uh, came up to the Apostle of the Great Millstone, and when he gave the book to Apostle Tahar, I screenshotted the 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 body language that he had to do. He had to do. Because Apostle Tahar, you know, I humbly speak, you know, that's a great man in, this, in the spirit of Yah Bashim al Shai. You know? Vocab alone could do nothing but help to bow his head before the apostle, not even just um, the apostle Tahar, but all those men that were standing up for the truth, apostle Gabar, apostle Ramlab, and even the brethren you see back here. That's a reverence. All right. Now he had to reverence the apostle because we have the truth. And Vocab really knows that he knows apostle Tahar, it, you know, he knows that's a, you know, it's a special man, you know? So, in his in his video, when he handed the book, he couldn't do nothing but bow his head, and that's uh, a foreshadowing of what's to come. Period. With all the heathen, on uh, how they're gonna be treating the nation of Israel, they're gonna bow their head to us, man. That and bowing your head is body language of respect, and 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 uh, being humble to some your superior. So I got a couple of scriptures. I'm gonna close it out real quick. This is Sirach chapter um, 4, verse 7. The scriptures talk about bowing your head. It says, get thyself the love of the congregation and bow thy head to a great man. <laughs> As the vocab did, not even knowing. Look, he's, his head was bowed, eyes down, everything. <laughs> you know? Because Apostle Tahar is in the spirit of Yahweh Basham al Shai. That's why. He's moving in that spirit. And that's the leader. That's our leader. All right, I got another one. This is a Sirach chapter 8, verse 14. It says, go not to law what they judge. Because one thing vocab likes to do, he likes to combat the truth. And then he likes to combat our leaders. You know? He likes to try to go to the to the scriptures, go to the law. Concerning, uh, he likes to try to go to the scriptures to try to <laughs> confound the apostles. It says, go not to law. But the scripture said this, go not to law what they judge for. They would judge for him according to his honor. So it's not, it's nothing that Vokad could do. Apostle Tahar, Apostle Ramlab, and Apostle Gabar, Apostle Raka. These men have been doing this before a lot of us was born. I, I give it up. I give it up before, um, before, uh, I was born. Apostle Tahar was on the street. And then when I was freshly born, I was even one years old, Apostle Gabor and Apostle um, Apostle Raka, they was on the street, and I was just coming out the, the Kuba, you know? And then when Apostle Ramlov came, I was, uh, what, I was roughly about three years old, something like that, <laughs> you know? <laughs> but we judge according to their honor. These men ain't took no breaks. Apostles of Great Millstone ain't took no breaks. And they just break down the scriptures, and you could you could see that the, the Heavenly Father is with these men. You know? And I know I've been built up, I've been built up, uh, uh, I've been built up superiorly, you know, or, or greatly from trying to trying to mimic how Yahweh Shemel Shai built up the our leaders, you know, and then the heads of our camps, and we all following the tracks. The scriptures say that the, the 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 word of the Most High is so narrow that only one man could go in at a time, and these men, when we we go in, we see footprints on the ground already. That's them men have already stepped over that part of the uh, going through the through the truth. We see their footprints, and we just keep following it. So we judge according to their honor, honorable men, and his honor made Vocab Malone bow his head. And like I said, this is this is nothing but a foreshadowing of what's to come. Period. For all the nations, what they're gonna, how they're gonna reverence the nation of Israel. This is, 
Isaiah 16 and 14, it says, The sons also of them that afflict thee shall come bending on to thee. All right? All those that afflicted the nation of Israel, the Negro, Latino, Native American, man, they're going to come bending going to us. And all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet, and they shall call thee the city of the Most High and the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. So, yeah, you see it right there. Vocab Malone couldn't help but bow his head before great men. And and we had a truth. So with that, I'm going to close out. I'll say, Brock, the Howard, Brock, the Shalom, Makim, Step, Shalom.